Cleopatra Thea, born to Ptolemy VI and Cleopatra II, played a noteworthy role in the history of the Seleucid Empire. As Queen Consort of Syria, her life and rule would have many turns and upsets as she navigated the arduous and often deadly political landscape that was the Ptolemaic dynasty. Cleopatra Thea's reign in the Seleucid Kingdom would first begin when she was married off to the pretender king Alexander Balas by her father. With Alexander, she would mother one son. However, only within two to three years, her father would have her remarried to the young and at the time 14-year-old Demetrios II, so to better suit Egypt's interests. With support from Ptolemy's armies, Demetrios waged war against Thea's now former husband Alexander in revenge for the death of his father, Demetrios I. Demetrios was successful in defeating Alexander's armies, and Alexander himself would be murdered, while Ptolemy VI would succumb to wounds from battle. Following a secession crisis in the Ptolemaic house, Demetrios would rule with little Ptolemaic influence. However, following the rise of a former general of Alexander's to the throne, Diodotus Tryphon, Demetrius would be captured by the Parthians in 139 BC, where he would live in comfortable exile for the next 10 years, be that with a new Parthian bride. During this time, Cleopatra Thea would make quick moves to secure the safety of her kingdom and offer her hand to her husband's younger brother, Antiochus VII, who was greatly effective in battle and swiftly defeated Tryphon, while also fathering at least five children with Thea. Then, in 129 BC, Antiochus launched a military campaign to free his brother from the Parthians. However, while the campaign was successful in liberating Demetrius, it resulted in Antiochus' death at the hand of the Parthians. Demetrius' second reign would be disastrous to say the least. Thea did not appear to warmly welcome back her husband. After escalating an ongoing conflict with the Ptolemy VIII, a second pretender king arose who challenged his rule. Demetrius was greatly unmatched against the pretender, and when he fled to the city where Thea was living, she ordered the gates to close against him. After fleeing to Tyre, Demetrius was captured and killed, likely under orders from Thea herself. With her husband's death, it is likely that Thea ruled alone, the first and only woman to do so of the Seleucid house, even going as far as killing her own son, Seleucus V, who tried to claim the throne. Her solo reign did not last long, and she would be forced to associate her son Antiochus VIII with her rule. However, just a few years later, Thea would be forced to drink a cup of poison by Antiochus, finally putting an end to her reign.